pain always feels worse because it's yours. Now we've done some videos in the past on what to do after a breakup. We talked about concepts of no contact and we're gonna kinda go through those again today, but I wanna expand this out a little bit the best revenge during a breakup. Not getting them back, not going to their house and beating them up and any of that stuff, but how do you get revenge when somebody has dumped your ass? Especially if they dumped you, not because you were being a dick, not because you were a bad person, not because you cheated. For whatever other reason, maybe they found somebody else. Maybe they went back to their ex. Maybe, 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 who knows? The, all you know is they changed the terms of the relationship. And they may say buzzwords that, you know what, I'd still like to be your friend, he 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 he. Don't fall for that. You never want to be a spectator in a sport you used to play. So when this happens, the biggest thing I want you guys to understand is do not stay their friends. You were never their friend in the beginning. So why would you stay friends now? You can't go backward. My name is Jared Schumacher. This is Magnetic Men's Club. Today we're gonna talk about how to get revenge from an ex that has dumped your ass. This isn't a bad thing. We're not talking about any how to, you know, how to be nefarious, how to do any of this crap, but what can we do in order to heal, in order to move on, in order to find somebody who values us and not live in the past, not live in that hope that, well, maybe someday they'll come back or maybe things will work out with us, you know, down the road. We can't look at that. We can't look at the maybe. What we need to do is look right now. It's happened, it's happened for a reason, and we need to move on from this. So the first thing that we need to do is we have two weeks, men and women. You have two weeks to cry, to bitch, to moan, to write stupid poetry, to write the love song, two weeks to bitch to your friends, two weeks of self-loathing, and then you're done. It's still gonna hurt, it's still gonna suck, you're still gonna love them, you're still gonna miss them, but after two weeks, you're right at that point where everybody else around you is tired of hearing your shit. So you have two weeks. Get it out of your system and then cut it completely off. Stop talking about him or her. Stop posting random memes about bullshit. Cut it off. This should be happening the day they break up with you, but you go no contact. You don't talk to them. You don't call them. You don't look at their stories. You actually unfriend them on Facebook or Instagram, all of that stuff. You do not contact your ex for any reason. But Jared, what's it, what if it's her birthday? Or what if it's his birthday? What if it's Christmas? Oh my God, I just saw that their dog just died. Should I reach out and apologize? No, you go no contact. The only time you're going to contact them is if they contact you first with something meaningful. Now I've done videos about this in the past. We'll link those down below, but the first thing you need to do is completely ghost them. They are dead to you in every matrix. So you want to go, go no contact. The reason why you want to unfollow them is because you don't want to be reminded. You don't want to know where they are. You don't want to know who they're with. You don't know what, want to see them, you know, even laughing about something. And then you start putting pieces together that aren't supposed to be put together and you come up with all these weird scenarios that probably aren't happening. So completely unfollow them. The second thing you want to do is you want to get back into the gym. Now, oh my God, Jared, here we go again. All you keep talking about is going to exercise. My friends, there's nothing better to get your mind off somebody else or a situation than getting underneath the bar, working out, creating those new dopamine levels that's going to make you feel better and it's going to start rewiring your brain to start feeling better about yourself, getting to the gym. Also, if you're a man watching this or a woman watching watching this, getting to the gym, maybe over that relationship, you've got a little soft, maybe you, you know, you put on some weight, start feeling better, looking better. The opposite sex is going to notice as well. And that's going to also make you feel better knowing that other people are checking you out. So you need to get back into the gym. You need to create a routine. You need to start feeling better about yourself. And it starts with your body. The third thing, this is a little bit unconventional. I am a huge believer in the best way to get over somebody is to get underneath somebody else. I'm not saying you need to go whore mode and start screwing every guy and every girl out there, but the faster you get back out there in the dating market, 
having opportunities to maybe have sex or putting yourself in that position, it's going to show you that there are amazing people out there. There are people that want you. This person isn't the only person in the world that wants you. That's the thought that you're having right now. You're thinking right now because I've thought this, that this is my soulmate. This is the one. I've done videos on why that's bullshit in the past. You can look at those. But once you get out there and other people are starting to notice you and you're looking and you're like, you know what? That girl is really cute. Oh my God, she's smiling at me. And you start talking to her. You're going to realize there's other people out there. And it's going to start shattering that myth of, I thought she was the one. So get back out there as soon as you can. I'm going to back pedal a little bit on this is I don't want you to get out there and hurt other people. So I, if you're not going through these changes, you're not healing yourself and realizing that if you're just waiting around for this person to come back and you're dating somebody and you know you're gonna dump that person to go back to them, then I don't want you to do that. You need to fully heal. You need to fully understand that the time you had in the sun with this person is done. That's the sunset's over. And here's the thing about breaking up and then getting back together with somebody, it's never the same. I've done it before. I've broken up with women. A month or two later, we got back together. It felt different. It didn't feel right and a lot of that had to do with being a man is who was she with what was she doing and for me my ego I'll admit I couldn't handle that so usually when someone's done with me or we have broken up you can't get that back and my friends you can't either there are some outliers out there there are some times where it does work out but for the most part it doesn't so you need to understand is if you're gonna go out put yourself out there in the dating you need to have the mindset that this person is completely done unless something major happens in their life where they have a come to Jesus moment and they realize how bad they fucked up and they're willing to do a hundred percent of the phone calls, the dating, planning the dating, the pursuing of you, if they're not willing to do any of that, fuck them. They're done. They're done in your life. They do not deserve a place at your table. You have too much to offer. The next thing I want you to do is just get busy. Just stay busy in your life. Now, I'm not saying run away from the pain. I'm not saying run away from the trauma. I'm not saying run away from the memories that you've, you've created with this person, but staying busy, creating a new hobby, creating new goals, working more at work at, at your job, working harder in your business. All of these things are going to put your bandwidth on stuff that's going to help you in the long run. All these things that could help increase your income, learn a new skill. By staying busy, you're focused on more positive things, you not keep looking at the negative. You're not, your brain isn't going, because your brain's really good at going back to what was easy. And what was easy was dwelling on her or him. What was easy is remembering those memories and, and, and fantasizing about how amazing it would be to see her again or see him again. That's easy for your brain. Focusing and forcing your brain to try new things, to uh, have new experiences, experiences is hard, but it creates more bandwidth. Your brain has to work extra hard. So you're less likely to start reminiscing. You're less likely to start thinking, what are they doing? You're less likely to start scrolling through social media, trying to dig up shit. So get busy with your life. Start amplifying all the things that you wanted to do, but you couldn't because you were in a relationship or you thought you couldn't because you were in a relationship. Start doing those things now. Getting busy is one of the best things that you can do for yourself on all levels. If you're doing all these things and you're learning new skills and you're meeting new people, you're just gonna be amazing. Yes, you're back at the gym. You're working out, you're looking better. Maybe you've gotten new clothes. Maybe you've changed your hairstyle. If you had a long beard, maybe you shortened your beard. Maybe you went full bald or full uh, baby face, who knows? It's gonna get out there to your ex how amazing you're doing and you haven't contacted her or him. You've left them completely alone. They asked for space. You gave them all the fucking space they wanted. So it's great. They're gonna start wondering. It could be a month, it could be a week, it could be a year, it could be five years. They're going to start wondering about you. I promise you. They're not going to forget you. If you were an amazing boyfriend or amazing girlfriend and things just didn't work out for whatever reason, they're not going to forget about you. So don't have that thought. Maybe you're going to run into a common friend and you're out there looking really good and maybe you got a, you know, a, a, a girlfriend or maybe you're hanging out with people. It will get back to her. It will get back to him. How amazing you look. 
look, how awesome you're doing. And then they're gonna start wondering. And at, right at that point where you've completely surrendered the idea that you're ever gonna see this person again, you're completely detached from this person again, that's when they're gonna reach out to you. I promise you. And when they reach out to you, what I want you to do is nothing. You've done all this work. Why would you want that person back in your life? The one that discarded you in the first place, the one that did not want to work on things, the one that thought the grass was greener on the other side. Why would you want that kind of person in your life? If you take them back, chances are it won't work out because you've grown so much and chances are they didn't. Chances are they're in the same spot that they were but you've grown so much, you've outgrown them. You have new experiences. So the best revenge is to level yourself up so much, do all of these things, amplify all of these things. And when they do reach out, ignore them. That's your best revenge. I know it sounds petty, but it's not. You've had to do the work on you. You've had to get past this trauma. They're the ones who changed the terms of your relationship, not you. You didn't agree with it, so you completely left them alone. You handled this breakup like a man or like a woman. You weren't petty, you weren't vindictive, but you got your revenge in the end. With that, my name is Jared Schoemaker. This is Magnetic Men's Club. If you found this video helpful, please hit like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you know when new videos are being made. If you're having problems in this area, if you just want somebody to talk to, maybe to help you overcome some of these beliefs, help you overcome and see how amazing you are, book a free call with me. I help so many men and women in this position. I've been in this position before. And so what I want you to do is have the best opportunity for success for you. I want you to be what I call full stack. I want you to have all the tools, all those tricks, all those little things. I want you to be the type of person other women or other men want. And this is what Magnetic Men's Club is all about. I want you to have the best success, the best chance in life. I've been there. I know I can help you. Book the free call. The link will be down below and we'll talk soon.